You should uh, definitely. Let's go. Okay, let's go. All right. So as you run Whoop. to platform seventeen, and three quarters, you see yes. Uh, you see Harry and Hermione. Rest doors like slid up and pushed to the sides. Uh, on the other side is a long stone platform cutting through an immense tunnel, reinforced with steel and adorned with glowing blue runes. Um, and as you rush to get by, you get a, limp, uh, a glimpse of the Forerunner, an adamantine dreadnought that seems to be equal parts locomotive and battery ram. A layer of armored plating along the side of the train lifts up as enchanted stepping stones form staircases every 20 feet. And as you approach these stepping stones, a spectral, smiling woman sporadically appears and disappears along the edge of the platform, chirping reminders such as, please have your ticket and boarding pass ready, and be mindful of your surroundings. Wow, you don't see stuff like this while wandering lost in the woods alone. Um, that's for sure. Yeah. Anyone it depends what roll... apps you have. Anyone can roll history or arcana uh, to tell who this is. You'll get a different result based on the skill. What uh, would make more sense for Vigo? Probably our history? Yeah. Uh, arcana will tell you what type of spell it is. History will tell you how the spell has been 21. 21 I got a 6 in Arcana. <laughs> I got a 23 in Arcana. Yeah, history. Alright. So... Uh... Harmony. Shining. Pretty. Strange new sights. Uh... Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Jovian, you would recognize this spell as a programmed illusion. Uh, so something that has been crafted by a wizard and then set to appear when certain conditions trigger. Uh, Vigo, though, would know that this is Sia, a scripted illusion hospitality aid uh, created and programmed by Bane Industries. Uh, basically to serve as like a stewardess or an announcer for their trains and hotels and whatnot. She's like uh, the nurse joy of this world. I've probably heard holograms of her many times going, please do not panic, we are being boarded. Yes. <laughs> she is uh, <laughs> Ana de Armas from Blade Runner 2049. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Vigo goes to look for an entrance that isn't going to have to get him like he doesn't he doesn't have an ID to show that is as his actual self so he's gonna break from the group and try and sneak on the train some other way alright is Ooh. anyone gonna well Rolls do you want to do it stealthily I'm gonna say to the group I will meet you um, on the train uh, just give me like five minutes I'll just I'll be right on and let me just do so. Oh. Okay. Did have you fun eat pooping. something wrong? I've had those days before. It's terrible. Yes. Worst poops. Just Where are you going? What are you doing? I. Aren't you part of this new group? Yes. And I will absolutely see you on there. I just Aren't need you gonna to. Are you going to take your son with you? Yeah. Are you going to take Ooh. your son with you? What? Yeah. Why are you dying into this dad. Thing? You're not. Oh, oh! You yeah, take me with you. No, Come man. with me, you son. Just... I pick him up, and I'm just looking at him like, "Aren't you excited for the train journey, son?" <laughs> Yay! I'm, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> okay, well, uh, don't and fall I in. Stealth, my stealth, I rolled an 18, so it's actually pretty good. Plus five, so 23. I'm just trying to sneak around between the train, between two train cars, and just. Yep. 
nobody noticed that, that as far as you know. Uh, anyone in the group can notice and choose to follow, since he announced that he was leaving. Yeah. I'm just gonna get on the train the regular way. Same. Regular two train. Alright. Bye bye. Uh marching order for getting on the train. Um I'm probably like gonna be walking to up. I'm probably going to be walking up with uh Violet, what's your character again? Jovian. Jovian. I'm probably gonna be walking up with Jovian. Alright. I will uh Keep my arm linked. I'll follow behind them. So, you're going to the stepping stones. There's a, uh, a bit of a stern looking man wearing an all black outfit uh, with a clipboard uh, and like a sword on uh, his belt. And he's gonna stop you and say, Tickets, please. Say, Tickets, please. Of course, sir. Here's my ticket. I'm gonna hand him my ticket because I'm a good Samaritan. You say that out loud. <laughs> Could I have your ticket, please? So he he takes your ticket. He he examines it. Uh. That then he's gonna look, look at you. Sort of look at you up and down. What are you wearing right now? Uh, so, I typically wear- hold on, I gotta pull up my character so I can remember what he's wearing. Typically wear, uh, a long cloak that's, uh, dark purple with blue trimmings, and it's got some gold chains on it, and, uh, underneath just a pair of, like, leather black pants, and then some boots that are also purple. Um, Yeah. They're getting on an Amtrak. You're not going to a Celine after party. I am very <laughs> aesthetic. So are about. you wearing a hood right now? No, I have no hood on. I don't even, I don't think I... No, so I just have a tall collar. He's gonna look at your ears, which, being a, since you're a half-elf, are kind of pointy. And he's gonna say, "Stand to the side." Oh, damn! Next. Night beers. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, he's gonna bad. wave in the air. One of those uh, mechanical hawks is gonna fly down and start circling you around. Its eyes. Glow. Can I talk to him? Why? Yeah, go ahead. Hi, that's my friend. May I ask what's going on? Routine inspection, random stop, quality control. <laughs> he was Can I watch? I've never capital. seen a routine stop before. <laughs> Can you routinely stop me too? And I'm gonna raise my arms up in the air and stand there. He he, he looks a bit puzzled <laughs> as to why somebody would like to be racially profiled. Uh, are you? Do you have any weapons on you? I mean, the only thing I have on me right now really is like this trusty flute. Do you want me to play you a tune? No, just get on the train. Oh, thank you. Is, is it okay if I take my friend with me? He, he looks at Jovian. Order the chain support. Oh, I, they're just for look looks honestly i care very much about my outfit and uh how good it looks so you know some flair i'm gonna lean in and i'm gonna whisper he's amazing at telling the time uh roll persuasion jovian okay uh persuasion okay that is an 11 Funny. Yeah, it's like, all right, all right. He, he waves at the hawk, which flies off. <gasps> I'm gonna grab his arm, and we're gonna walk on the train. Uh, I'm, gonna wave, I'm, I'm gonna wave goodbye at the man. I'm gonna be like, oh, thanks for that. I guess. 
once we're, once we're on the train, I'm going, to, I'm going to lean into him and just be like, and that is how you don't get them to check your passport. <laughs> and then we just keep going. <laughs> All right. So uh, the guard is going to take Nor's ticket and he's going to look him up at death. And he's going to say, huh, more forged. You know, uh, I hear that yes. Conrad got a appointed CEO of Silvercorp. That's that's so great for him. You know, he's a very a very fine construct, a fine man. Yes. Thank you for the information. I hope he's happy. Please. Enjoy Good for him. <laughs> and, and he lets you go. Thank you. Uh, do we? I'm, I'm 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 throwing my my new son up in the air and catching him. We don't do that. Put yeah. me down. No, nope. nope. this is what you wanted. Down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. I'm and a rocket kid. ship. Okay. Oh, ready? Oh, ready? Oh. Here we go. One, two, three, <laughs> and a rocket ship. <laughs> All terrible people. <laughs> And then I, and then I see my <laughs> Is this yeah? Is this happening on the same car that we're walking on to? Uh, yeah. So all your tickets have pre-assigned seats, um, and since you're all heading towards the same place, since you were hired basically to help with conservation efforts in the valley, uh, you'll all be sitting, if not next to each other, in the same car. One of you might be awkwardly separated from the others. They walk in and they see me, where they see like the head of Kyle being thrown up in the air, and then <laughs> over yeah. here, there's a uh, There's what's his face? I have right. All right. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my seat. As you all enter. The train doors slide shut in unison. You hear the train whistle, because that's what trains do. And then you hear whirring and clanking as those armored plates you saw lift up to let you on. All like slam shut against the side. Uh, the train lurches forward. A bit of a jolt. And then starts moving a bit more steadily. Uh, so Sia, that special programmed illusion lady, is going to appear at the front of the car. And she's going to say, please remain seated. And be sure to fasten your seatbelts. Whoop. I am seatbelted in and ready to go. What's your seatbelt? <laughs> <laughs> am I am I sitting close enough to Harmony to hear her ask that question? I'm literally just saying it out loud to myself. <laughs> just what's <a> seatbelt? <laughs> the programmed uh. illusion is going to disappear and reappear right next to Harmony, and she's gonna smile at her and say, "Please fasten your seatbelts." I'm gonna mimic her voice back to myself. Just please <laughs> fasten your seatbelts. <sighs> Uh, please fasten um, your seatbelt. Please fasten your seatbelt. You might want to put on that little piece of cloth, darling. It's just a little upset when you don't do it. What it do? What it says? The illusion's eyes oh. turned red. Okay, I, I I reach around and and, and put her in. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Creepy hologram lady. Bye. Uh, her eyes shift back to blue, and she smiles, and she says, "Thank you." And thank you for choosing the Iron Forge Transportation Group. Oh, uh, uh, can I get a, a, a booster seat for my, my baby, please? I don't need a booster seat. Yes, you do, Kyle. So, you'll notice as you sit down, uh, the, tra or the chair cushions seem to warp and change shape and size. Uh, basically based on how big you are. It's magic. How big does it get for me? So if I got like a dump truck, it's gonna like. 
Uh, it won't get wider necessarily. So, oh, well. <laughs> but it won't memory be memory foam. Year. It's memory foam. Yeah. <laughs> it, it does get a bit taller for uh, Kyle's stunning hand. Because uh, nice. Nox helps build this, uh, dwarves pretty much run the company. Uh, also, you'd probably all know that even though she thanked you for choosing Ironforge, uh, there is no other transportation uh, service in Enrea. <laughs> so you had no choice. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> so you feel the train pick up speed. Mm. If you look out the window, you'll see the rooms running along the tunnel glowing brighter and brighter. brighter. And they start to blur as the train goes faster still. Up ahead, a giant metal seal at the end of the tunnel roars as it rotates, opening to reveal a cosmic void of swirling, almost blinding lights of every color. Uh, everyone roll perception. Am I sitting with anybody or am I by myself? Uh, you're probably next to Jovian. If I'm next to Jovian, I'm going to be in the seat closest to the hall, like to the aisle, and I'm going to be crawling over Jovian to look out the window. Uh, she has no spatial awareness whatsoever. So I got a 21 for perception, and also I'm just going to let Harmony do whatever, because at this point I think I've figured out that that's going to happen anyways. I got a 15. So an 8. Two on three. Eight. A rebel. I get seventeen. All right. I have negative when it comes to perceptions. Uh, what did you get there? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> harmony. Ooh, pretty colors. Uh, he's, he's pressed against the glass, just smushing, making faces. <laughs> yeah, you're really more caught up, not on like what's at the end of the tunnel, which uh, some of you may know is the space between spaces and realities, and more at the uh, glowing rooms that are, like, opening this stargate. Uh, so, Jovian, as you look into the cosmos, you see a lot of uh, star constellations that you recognize. The chalice, the dragon, the phoenix. I'm just gonna be, like in awe, and I'm very happy. I'm just in, in my awe. element. Uh, let's see. Nor, you would see, like, this really intense forest, the brightest leaves you've ever seen, and above the treetops is a flying feathered serpent, just sort of spiraling as it soars through the air. Uh, you can roll oh. Arcana, Nature, or Religion for this to see if you would recognize Wait, Religion? Oh, I'm also, I'm gonna be because Harmony's kind of on top of me, I'm gonna point to different constellations and just kind of tell her what they are because I know she's probably interested Finally, not, somebody is but I don't really care I'm interested. Five religion, unfortunately. I'm interested, and I'm staring blankly with a giant smile on my face, and none of the information sticking. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nor, you do not recognize what kind of uh, bird snake thing this is. Uh, I got, a, I got a question. Amazing. Though. I got a question. If if I spent the last point, few man. years uh, pirating these uh, these trains, do I do so in this space, or do I do do it when it's like in dock? How is that typically done for pirates? Uh, Keeping in <laughs> mind that I'm probably not very good at it, or I'm not as good as the person that I'm pretending to be. So you would pirate these trains yourself? You're the pirate king. Well, they're pirates, and I like kind of took the identity of one and, and was blending in with the crowd. <laughs> so you would know. <laughs> that to get through the empty marshes which is uh you know this void you're about to cross through safely you need really rigorous training you need to know a lot about magitech and how these machines work or else you're gonna crash into hell 
pretty much. If you're not vaporized. So you have to do it on the train, like on board the train. Yeah. Uh, some people may uh, do a bit of an inside job where they'll set it to go of course to like a different location than the Grand Station and then have like a second a Wii team like ambush them from there but yeah. most of the time maybe the actual Aloise was that good but not this one but uh okay I was imagining like people were taking the parts from the trains and making like Mad Max Doom buggies but it doesn't work like that so we'll just like uh, highwaymen almost insider jobs <laughs> yeah uh and Vigo and Kyle when you look out to the void you see the same thing. <clears throat> hundreds of giant shadowy spider webs and some sort of dark chasm. Dad, I'm scared. I know, son. They always make these places look as dreary as possible. I hate this place. I think you should go first. Would you like to see it first, Hen? I bet you would. Hold on. I uh, I try to open the window. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just kidding. You did not succeed. Uh, would yeah, notice... I just pretend. <laughs> yeah. You you would notice that the window seems pretty securely fastened on. There doesn't seem to be a way to open it, and there's a faint blue light uh, outlining the edges of it, which is probably some sort of magic. So, you only get a brief glimpse at all of these sites before they all seem to warp and dilate and stretch infinitely. It's like Willy exterior. Wonka. Yeah, it is the tunnel from Willy Wonka. And so the exterior of the train crackles with electricity, and suddenly that blue glow that you saw along the edges of the windows is all you can see as you're launched into the empty marches. Roll credits. That's it. I said the title. Wow, these uh, barshes are really empty. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nothing to see here. It's just <laughs> empty. <laughs> just uh, marshes of emptiness. Suddenly, I want some marshmallows. Um, <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to go find oh, the, the, the drink. The, the drink cart. I'm going to find the bar. All right. Uh, before you do. Uh, once your sight returns, uh, you find yourself, if you look out the windows, you'll find yourself traveling through a heavy mist, which is slowly changing from indigo to violet to red and so forth. Uh, these are the empty marches. This space between spaces. Uh, as, the as the lights are changing colors, I'm using thaumaturgy to make my eyes shift to the same colors. Nice. Well done. <laughs> If you look uh, to the front of the carriage, uh, you would notice that there's a new faker standing there who wasn't there when you entered or when the train launched through the Stargate. Uh, he's dressed in all black finery, like long flowing cape, just like satin black uh, noble's clothing. Uh, very pale. A bit handsome, but also a bit blue around the lips. He's gonna pose. I, Im I immediately lean over to, uh, Chancier and go, he's going to kill us. <laughs> like, I'm leaning back of him, leaning over, over to his ear and going, he's going to kill us. It's a little presumptuous. No, hold on. Let let God finish narrating. He's gonna kill us. <laughs> so I do. I hear them saying this. Do you? You're sitting right next to Jovian, so yeah, yeah. We're all Jovian right now. I, I look at um, what's the what's your Warforge's name? Or or what is it? Sorry, I missed that. Nor, 75. Nor. Oh, Nor. 
I look at Nora and I go, I mean, he's going to kill us, right? I mean, he would, when, when it, he's there and next he just appears, you would, you, hey, you, you, you know battle. I prop up above the seat and make direct eye contact with him and then look behind us and I'm just like, I don't know, he looks kind of nice. Well, hold on, let God finish narrating. So this strange, spooky <laughs> man poses dramatically and says, Hey there, I'm Lazarus Stratton. And on behalf of Bane Industries, welcome to the Empty Marshes. Uh, he's going to flourish his cape and transform into a flock of ravens. And the ravens are going to scatter and fly throughout the carriage before fading away into what is pretty much ghost confetti. Does it look like we got killed? Hmm, I wish he did. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just looking up in the air, just in shock, and I'm like, I have to learn how to do that. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Are you allergic to confetti? Listen, I'm not always correct. It just happened. Um, can't What's be confetti? So confetti is little pieces of, like, colorful oh. scrap paper that flutter and are exciting. Uh, please, 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 of all the people to never teach what confetti or glitter are, I think this is the one. I don't know. She seems fine. She seems like she wants to just have a good time. I don't know. So far, it just sounds terrible. I love it. <laughs> all right. So Sia, program deletion, is going to reappear at the front of the train. And she's going to say, you may now take off your seatbelts. We are scheduled to arrive in 46 minutes. If you would like refreshments, simply touch the sigil in the seat in front of you to speak with one of our unseen servants. Brought to you by Strathmore Industries. Your comfort and well-being is important to us. She waves and disappears. Mm. I like her. I'm going to push the, the sigil. The, the name just has an ableist ring to it. Huh? <laughs> I, Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing the sigil. Great, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say to Harmony, I hope you know what you want. Oh, darling, get, get two sherries. What can I Sherry's. What are sherry's? He said to get two sherry's. Understood. Oh. So, does Sia have a coat? <laughs> so you don't actually see what's speaking. Uh, anyone can roll Arcana to see what's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do okay. that up. Natural 20. 16. Oh, I got an 8. 10. Alright. So, Vigo All right. and Harmony, yeah. you would recognize that this is the Unseen Servant spell. Uh, a bit modified uh, by presumably Lazarus Strathmore uh, to basically pop up and like reappear at the whims of whoever presses the sigil rather than like a specific wizard casting it. So, presumably this strange, invisible ghost type thing is going to go bring you your sherry. You have like the ones that my mentor has. Uh, who's your mentor? Oh, uh, you know, just my mentor. <laughs> okay. So, are you a pirate? And I'm like on my knees with my hands over the back of the seat, sort of like school children, just looking over the back of the seat. <laughs> yes, of all the things to say out loud, I'm so glad you chose that. One. Uh, you look kind of piratey. No offense. Yeah, no, I bed. chose the triangular hat. I know, I know, I did the whole thing. Hold on, hold on, wait, let I me just... I think they uh, call it a tricorn. people if they're a pirate. 
Harvey, you don't just three ask people if they're a pirate. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That's what I just said. Uh, okay. I, uh, what you want is a pirate. You are a pirate. I, I go down to her ear and I go, have you ever heard the name of Aloise Blackstone? I point my finger into his forehead and I cast a message. No. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, you cast message, right? <laughs> I respond with, good, because I am not him. And then I sit back. Who are you? Oh, no, you're not supposed to. That was supposed to be like an edgy, cool thing. You're not supposed to keep talking about it. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. Um, and then I clap my hands together and do press digitation to create sparkles, and I just jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> As you jazz yes, hands, so. uh, has anyone um, taken off their seatbelt? I did, yes. I did. Took mine off, yeah. All right. Everyone make a dexterity saving throw as oh, the train right, here we go. suddenly stops. I hate this character oh, so much, but bad. I love her. I got a 17. 18. 22. And, and Kyle Sunningham. Two. All right. Kyle and Nor, uh, you are thrown against the back of the seat in front of you as the train suddenly stops. Uh, the magical loudspeaker uh, in the corners of every, uh, or in every corner of the carriage, crackles, and you hear. <laughs> This is your conductor speaking. We're making a oh. quick stop to pick up some passengers. <laughs> that seems fine. I'm, I'm going to pretend that I didn't find that a little bit creepy. Outside. At least we know he's happy. Yeah. Where are we? That's a good question. Outside, the, the mist begins to darken and embers flurry across the windows. You hear the roar of wind, at least what sounds like wind. As the mist disperses, you see a black sky lit by, lit only by what seems to be fiery fissures in the atmosphere. It feels like home. That's, that's charming. <laughs> um. It does feel like home harmony. Everyone roll Arcana. Mm. Uh, 18. These harmony, you nice. do this with advantage. Okay. 18 again. 21. These are my new dice. I'm keeping these. And for me. Oh, well, what was that? 11. And for and 10. Ten. You got a ten again. <laughs> ten. Yeah. You just, you just keep getting ten. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So with a ten or eleven, uh, you probably know enough about the empty marches that you're somewhere adjacent to some sort of fiery plane of reality. Uh, Vigo. Jovian and especially Harmony probably recognize this as a sort of the opening, like a tear in the fabric of reality leading to the crucible, the elemental plane of fire. Oh, so we're probably picking up some fiery people. Suddenly, uh. the sky seems to shatter as an inferno erupts into the empty marches. Through the smoke, a massive shape soars closer and closer to the train. The first thing you know you notice about it are its eyes, burning with the brightest fire you've ever seen. Then it opens its maws, 
bearing massive things like stalactites as it unleashes a firestorm from its throat. So it's just just top team stalactites. So it's just got like top teeth. stalactites. It's <laughs> you know outside <laughs> uh, the train. Okay, you're gonna yes. Come over here. Or it, okay. You 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 see it. <laughs> Looking through the window, you see this giant face coming at you. Uh, you can okay. roll Arcana again to see if you know what kind of creature this is. Um, Maybe is, I can uh, natural 20. 13. I, Jovian's not concerned oh, about what the creature is. Alright. Uh... Vigo and Nor, some sort of big fire monster. Uh, a big fire. You don't know too many of the specific types. Mm. It could be a demon, a dragon, harmony. You know that this is specifically a red dragon. And Daniel, we are level three. <laughs> so, at this point, I'm Jovian's for gonna be like, um, maybe we should go and get the train moving somehow. Do I know anything else about the Red Dragon? Yes. As you look into yeah. its fiery eyes, you yeah. feel empowered and emboldened, you gain a die of inspiration. Ooh. As you recognize your mentor. Okay. Harmony sucks now. <laughs> Listen, y'all windows, don't know it's my mentor. The train windows I'm, I'm explode just... as the dragon's breath hits them. You are saved only by the magical barrier protecting the train from the elements. Jovian is desperately pressing the help button and screaming, why aren't we moving? I'm just like, I'm pushing the rune <laughs> on the back of the seat in front of me. So um, I've taken out, I've taken out my pepper box and my pistol and I get up and I start moving towards the front of the train. All right. Uh, who here speaks Draconic? I know a few of you do. I, I do. Bissell, Common, and uh, Thieves can't. Also, I'm pushing the back of the seat because I want to order a second sherry for my mentor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to show up. <laughs> roll, roll perception. Oh, I don't speak Draconic. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> Jovian, <laughs> you would hear... Well, everyone here is just the dragon roaring. But Jovian understands it's actually speaking. Go, servant of shadow. Prepare my kingdom for my return. And as the dragon's fire creeps into the carriage, giant metal shields slide across the windows, darkening the carriage and blocking your view. Of the dragon. I'm gonna I'm gonna just like kind of out loud mutter to myself Servant of Shadow. What? Why are you saying that in the dark? Who says that um, in the dark? What are you what are you saying? I'm going to point and I'm going to message <laughs> to the dragon. Okay. And just be like, can you not do this now? I just met these ones. Make make a wisdom saving throw. With advantage. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try and shoot the, 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 the if the door is locked, I'm gonna shoot the lock. Alright. It's a door. <laughs> that was an eight. Uh You 
take two points of psychic damage as you get a piercing burning headache and you hear bring me my kingdom bring me my servants would, would I know what that means? uh Yes. So you would know that your patron once ruled over one of the nations of Enria, uh, Galenia. After the train station, the Grand Station that keeps it anchored to the rest of the plane of reality was destroyed, he swooped in, literally, and claimed it as part of his hoard. And he was banished. And he's not too happy about that. Uh, Darren, were you saying something? No, no, I'm I'm listening. <laughs> All right. So Vigo. So, so he would want to claim the train station back. Uh, much more than the train station. I think he wants yeah. it more, yeah. Oh, that's uh, fine. I'm just I'm I'm going I'm trying to go to the front of the train to go to the conductor and I'm looking I look back to the rest I'm like you can come or you can stay but I'm going to the front to figure this out. I'm uh, right. I'm going to come with you because uh we got to get going or we going to die. Um you guys notice that there, if it's, it's really dark you were picking up passengers. Why would we pick up passengers in a fiery hell? I don't, know. I don't know where we are. We're not in hell. We're in the fire plane. So, we're, we're, we're at my home. Uh, really? Uh, Kyle's stunning head. Can you lower the volume to that? Yeah, that's really loud, Dan. <laughs> Dan, please. Other Dan. Dan. Dan Ruckus. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Alas. Uh, I've had this. Kyle was immolated. I, just I accidentally knocked off. him out when I went to push him out the window that didn't open. Okay. He, he can rejoin later. Uh... Okay, so as you get, who's this? Oh, no. oh he's back. <laughs> Sorry, I spaced out for a second. I'm holding on to the train window. Okay. Uh, so it's dark. Uh, like you get those red emergency lights. Uh, flick on. Uh, yeah. you also get some light from the fire, but you know the windows are blocked by those metal shields. Mm -hmm. Everyone, as you move towards the door. At the front of the carriage, make a perception check. Uh, oh. Nine. One. Oh. Okay. <laughs> One, two. You got a twelve? Okay, and what about uh, Moore and Kyle? I Sorry, got I one. Sorry, I for a sec. What are we rolling? Uh, perception. Okay. No, oh, three. Eight for me. All right. And what did Harmony get? I got an eight. Okay. So... You, you see the door of the carriage open, leading into the next cart. You don't see what opened it. But as the door closes again, the flames reform uh, to take the shape of a pair of giant fiery hands that seem to block you from getting to the door. I'm still initiative. sitting in my seat. Oh, we're doing <laughs> initiative. 
Um, yes, we are. Okay. I. Oh yes. Very good. I just yeah. want it to be known that I'm still sitting in my seat because I feel really comfortable with my mentor outside. <laughs> Oh, no. And I don't know um, why everyone's overreacting. <laughs> is there a te- is there a text uh, text channel for this D and D? Yes. Is. Yeah. I got really good initiative, which is fantastic. The fire hands. Roll a knight. Fire hands. Are they like? How, what are the fire hands doing? Are they like being grabby, or are they just kind of being spooky? They're they're, they're kind of like not quite jazz handsing, but you know they're gonna try to block you. Uh, anyone can roll uh, Arcana to see uh, what kind of creature this is. Nope, I got a three no, plus two, so five. Okay, mm-hmm. You're a fighter. You don't know. I'm a. I know two spells. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. So Vigo, Violet, or sorry, Jovian, Harmony, Nor, Kyle. Here, I'll I'll do it all up. Uh, oh. And where does the creature fit in? Uh, last. Okay, Harmony. Uh, what? Ugh, I'm so bad with names. What's Darren? What's your character? Darren. Name? Uh, Nor. No, what's your Nor seventy five? Goes Nor. by Nor. Is that just N O R? Yeah. You guys can change yes. your nicknames to your character names. It helps a lot. And then. Okay. Kyle. And then. Preacher. Okay. The order is in the chat. Alright, Vigo, you're up first. Alright. Uh, I am going to take out my... Uh, it's interesting because it's dark in here, so you see... I All you really see of my 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 gun is you see it's like got these shining runes on it. Um, I take out Pepper Box. And it's a little uh, pistol, more or less, with the... I don't know what... It's not a pistol. What's it called? With the revolver? The revolver. Um... And I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to spend an arcane grit point to make it into a uh, banishing bullet. Uh, which hands do you shoot? What do you mean? There's more than one? Yeah, there's a left hand and a right hand. Oh, the right hand. All the right. stage right hand. Uh, roll your attack. My... All right, so it's going to be plus seven to hit. And the three, it's only ten. Uh, you shoot your bullet, and it just burns up. Okay. That's my turn. (laughs) So next is Jovian, I believe. Alright, so Jovian is gonna take this opportunity, realizing that he understood the creature, to just be like... To, to like, call out, like, Hey! What are you doing? Uh, the hands do not seem to respond. They don't. Okay. Um, so... I guess... My bonus action, then, is... Well, he's gonna wait a second... Were you going to try to roll Persuasion, or were you just talking? Oh, I was just... I don't know. Should I? I just wanted to... I was just talking just to see if he would respond. Yeah. Talking's a free action, so... Okay. So I'm going to wait a second for a response, and I guess I'm going to hold my action for now. All right. Uh, Do you hold your turn, or do you hold an action? I'm just... I'm going to hold my turn. All right. Uh, who's next? Let us see. Uh, Harmony. All right, Harmony. Fire um, hands. I'm, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm like slouched in my seat, <laughs> just watching all y'all like firing at these hands. And uh, do I recognize these hands at all or no? Uh, did you roll Arcana to identify them? Yeah, I got a 13. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see, who else rolled Arcana? What did you get? I failed. Okay. Uh, so, Harmony, you would recognize this as a living spell, specifically the Burning Hands spell. So oh. these aren't really creatures so much as, you know, constructed spells, similar to Sia, the programmed illusion. Okay. Uh, so it's sort of like Mage Hand, but Burning Hand yeah. spell. Okay. And you'd probably know that normally you cast Burning Hands once and it disappears after like uh, six seconds. Uh, these are sticking around, and you don't see a caster anywhere. I'm just gonna stare at all and be like, "Wow, mentor is so amazing!" <laughs> <laughs> and um, while that's going on, I'm j honestly, she's just going to like skip her turn and just say to everybody, "I don't know why y'all are fighting. You're coming into my home." And you're going to just start attacking anything you see? It's attacking us! What's wrong with you? They're burning I, hands! I, what are they going to do? They just want you to sit down. God. Nope, I'm not responding. Alright. Nor. I look around, do I see any anybody drinking a glass of water or anything other than sherry or alcohol? <laughs> uh, make a perception check. <clears throat> You're at that. Seventeen. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you will see some uh, like wine glasses and bottles shattered on the floor. Uh, which is the result of Harmony's failed perception. Those are, uh, that's the sherry that she ordered <laughs> that uh, was destroyed <laughs> when the train stopped and the dragon attacked. Uh, but you do see some, like, most of the passengers are huddled up. They're not quite as brave as you. Uh, but some of them have, like, glasses or bottles of water in their hands. Okay. I want to see if I can grab the fullest glass of water I see and throw it towards the hands. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can either ask someone for the water or you can make sleight of hands to just take it and then an attack will just grow okay um let me do sleight of hands all right hold a 13 for sleight of hands You take that glass of water. Okay, and about how far away from the hands am I now? Uh, carriage is about, I want to say, 30 feet. So, you're decently close, okay. like within 10 feet. So I'll take maybe one step forward and and try to throw the water and douse at least one of the hands. All right. Go ahead and uh, roll the attack. Okay, so I'll do a throw roll. Uh, I got a nine. Okay. Uh. 
Yeah, you launch that glass of water, and it just kind of sprinkles around the hands. But... The hands just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some of it evaporates. <laughs> Some of it gets okay. splashed onto, like, uh, your party members in front of you. Way to go, Dorothy! <laughs> <laughs> We need to douse those flames. I don't know what else to do. That's a great idea. I don't know why I tried shooting fire. Great. <laughs> great idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Kyle, it's your turn. Kyle will be blast. All right. Uh, roll your attack. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen just misses. Oh. Blast. All right. So, what is what is what does uh what does Kyle's Eldritch Blast look like? I know all warlocks have their purple. So it's just a little little bit Gaga. <laughs> Yeah. That's from Planet Chromatica. Alright. So... Power. One of the hands power. is gonna move at Vigo and just, like, swipe at him. <laughs> I gotta give him a high five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... Whoa. My mistake he, is immediately evident. <laughs> does a 21 hit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Okay. You take five fire damage as oh. you just get <laughs> hit by this giant fiery hand. Uh, okay. The second one is going to grow larger for a moment and then shoot out flames and I need uh, everyone except for Harmony to make a dexterity saving throw I told y'all you just needed seatbelts <laughs> Dex Dex dexterity? yeah not one for me nice 19 what was that door? Uh, Darren? Hand again. God. Okay. <laughs> so. Where's my D6? Our poor robot friend. I know. <laughs> so, Nor, Kyle, and Jovian, you take uh, 12 points of fire damage. Things are not kin, Nor. Vigo, you take 6. And it is Vigo's turn once more. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I gotta do my damage. Six fire damage. Okay. Uh, I don't learn my lessons very well, so I'm gonna shoot it again. All right. Roll your. Um, the one that just did like the huge fire thing. I'm gonna try the banishing bullet again. All right. Uh, let's just. Action pepper bot. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that definitely hit 16 plus plus minus 23. Yep, that hits. Roll your damage. Okay, so it does. I rolled a one, so four um, piercing damage, but uh, and it's magical piercing damage. And so for the banishing shot, um. Abjuration magic temp temporarily banish your target to an armless location, a fey wild, or whatever it is in this in your your game. The creature hit by the bullet must also succeed on a charisma saving throw or be banished. While banished in this way, the target's speed is zero and it is incapacitated. At the end of its next turn, the target reappears in the space if vacated, or the nearest occupied space if that space is occupied. All right. So rolls, charisma saving throw. It rolled a ten. Any pluses or? Uh, well, actually, it rolled a 12. 
and it gets a minus two to charisma because it's just nice. a giant hand. So that one's gone until the end of its next turn. Yep. So. All right. I say, what do you know? Shooting fireworks. <laughs> Ooh, <they got. laughs> you did it. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. I, you know, I took a shot in the dark, you know? Oh, that's a good one. I should put it on a t-shirt. All right. Jovian. Okay, so Jovian at this point is going to look back at Harmony, who is clearly unharmed from fire, and he's going to make a connection and sit back down in his seat. Do I have to roll anything for that? Uh, Should I make an intelligence check, maybe, to see if well, that You're all ready to die, aren't you? Yeah, go ahead. Intelligence? Yeah. Oh, I hope I get good on this because... Oh, yeah. 13... 15. Okay. Uh, getting other players messaging me about technical issues. Uh, so what are you trying to do again? Just make the connection that Harmony did not get harmed by the fire. Nor uh, did any of the other... Well, I'm assuming none of the other passengers did. Yeah, so... They're all still in their seats. So they're kind of like shielded from the fire. Hmm. So it wasn't that it didn't attack them. It's just that they were protected. Yeah, it's that... Uh, Yeah, I couldn't see them. Well, he's gonna get back in his seat, nonetheless. Okay. Wow. Alright. And then I next is Harmony. Okay, so... Am I able to put two and two together that the conductor of the train is working with Nephos? Uh, yeah. Okay. And there's no one guarding the doorway to the conductor's car, right? Uh, the burning hands are. Would I know if the burning hands will let me pass? Make an inside check. <laughs> As a reaction. Oh, yes. Look, I got it. I did it. <gasps> Whoa. Wait, wait, this one might be better. Yeah. <gasps> Magnificent. <laughs> 16. 16. So, you gather they're not particularly intelligent because they're just hands. So it's hard to say. Uh, since spoilers, you're from the elemental plane of fire. Uh, you might be able to just walk past them if uh, you just strut your stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. She's gonna get up out of her seat and she's just gonna casually walk by. And when she gets to the hand, she's gonna shoot them like some finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there. Roll charisma. What? What? I'm gonna roll out in a little bit. All right. As 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 they're walking by, I'm just like, did you set us up? What's happening? E <laughs> twenty. Uh, yeah. So they the hands like part just a bit to let you pass. Do you go through the door? Yeah, I look by, I'm just like, looking hot. And, <laughs> right. and then I go through the door. As soon as you do, they like, shift back into place to like, block anyone from following you. Only one does. Oh, that's one right. One of them's gone. Yeah. I'm so confused. go in their seats and everything's fine <laughs> so yeah so you walk by us through to the next cart or 
Yeah, so I it, during the last round, I didn't do anything. I just stayed in my seat, and I told y'all just to sit down. Like, you're in my home, and you're going to attack my people. And then I just get up and walk through to go to the next car, and they let me through. I'm going <laughs> to kill that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so hard to see anything in the next cart. Yeah, you see a bit of flames. Uh, my you face. See everybody's. <laughs> yeah, everyone's cowering. Uh, you see a small creature flying around, sort of terrorizing the passengers. Uh, it seems like it's trying to keep them in their seats. Is like, it an imp? Uh, roll our copy. Uh, that would be a 12. 12. Uh, it doesn't seem like any sort of fiend that you've seen. Uh, okay. it's a bit smoky, so you guess it might be another elemental. Okay. Um, I'm just going to like keep walking through and I'm just be like everybody just stay calm I've got it handled it's fine we're at my home it's fine don't worry and as I'm like coming through I'm just kind of like whistling a tune to everybody to get them to like feel calm as I'm just walking through and I'm shooting finger guns to the elementals be like hey long time no see yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, door, it is your turn. Yes, I am going to dive back under my seat or in my into my seat so I get some cover and I'm going to drink my potion of healing. All right. Roll 4d4. Can Warforge drink? All right. Or are you kind of just like <laughs> Okay. on yourself? Uh, so they can drink, they just don't need to. He, rub he rubs it in, like, lotion. Yeah, I would like to see put it, it on, like, a good, like, skin care. After shave. Yeah. <laughs> he pulls out an oil can that's just, like, hey, a I got a lotion uh, bottle. You got a what? 11. Alright. So, yeah, you heal that damage. Yeah, it's well, act, it's like axe, axe spray can. That's canon. It comes in a little canister. <laughs> yeah. I'm just picturing it as like an oil canister that just you can attach a pop like a health potion onto and he just like oils himself up. It smells like a high school locker room in here. <laughs> wow. Is that you, Nord? <laughs> <It's been> great. <laughs> All right. I, don't even I know not what you speak, but I like the smell. Uh, honest, you're honest. I like that. <laughs> Kyle, it's your turn. Um, so are the hands attacking us? Uh, yeah. Right now, there's just one. Uh, because if you go banish the other, but they definitely attacked you. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna Eldritch, Eldritch blast it again. All right, roll your attack. Nat 20. <gasps> Alright. Roll your damage. And I think this technically uh, isn't in the rules. But uh, deal with it, nerds in the audience. I'm going to allow spells to crit. And we'll see how that goes. Six. Uh, so... Is that just rolling one die, or... That's 1d10, yep. Okay, uh, you can either double that or roll another d10. I'll roll another d10. Oh, two. Womp womp. Eight damage. Okay. So, you hit it with your uh, Lady Gaga burst of eldritchness. <laughs> lightning. Yeah, lightning. <laughs> His incantation is just raw, raw, raw. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has a bad romance. It doesn't look too good. It seems 
a bit smaller. The fire seems a bit weaker after that. Um, and it's going to retaliate now. With a nat 1. Uh, so yeah. it's going to swipe that at you. But since you've weakened it and it's a bit smaller, it doesn't think to adjust for its new size. So it just barely grazes against you. Alright. <laughs> uh, and then the second one will re return now, right? At the end of the turn. Yeah. yeah. So the second uh, hand pops back into being, and it's Vigo's turn. Uh, so I'm going to put my guns back away, and then very Jack Sparrow-esque saunter by them and go, Oh, funny. Okay, total misunderstanding. I'm with them. Um, I think I think their pronouns are they them, right? Not their pronouns. They oh, are... Harmony? Harmony. Harmony is she. Oh, I'm with her. Um, total misunderstanding. Love the plane of whatever this is. Um, I'm with her, and I try and saunter by. <laughs> Don't panic, everyone. They're very friendly. The hands take attacks of opportunity against you as you attempt to pass. That's fair. I didn't... Uh... Uh, does a 15 hit? Let me see. That's my AC, so yeah, do. So I'm just gonna be able to talk my way out of battles this whole I'm yelling at Harmony, I'm like, I'm trying to get by your friends, help me. I'm already halfway to the next car. Alright. I'm yelling. Oh, I'm rolling out. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Alright. Right. Goodbye, Kyle. Kyle night. takes a stress nap. <laughs> It's too much. It's getting kind of hot. It's hard to stay away. Somebody needs to burp. Last Eldritch Blast to took him out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Vigo, you take six. Wait. You take four fire damage. Okay. Uh, so that was your movements. Uh, you can keep moving into the train or into the next carriage or... Do I get a sense that I'm going to be able to do the same thing as Harmony and chill these people out if I sit down? Uh, Probably not. Hmm, they roll. attack. Well, I, I was hoping I would be able to persuade them not to attack me. It didn't work. Just keep in mind that when I left the train car, I told y'all just to go sit down. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, so now you would have gone to the other side of these hands. Do you keep walking? Um, yeah, I, I, I would at that point see Harmony, and I'm like, Harmony, call off your friends! Point, I, uh, as I'm like walking and I'm whistling, I just turn around and I'm still walking backwards, and I'm just like... <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna kill her. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go into the very back, like the seats that are in the back of this cart, and hunker down into them. I'm gonna have my gun, and I'm gonna hold my action. If something tries to attack me while I'm there, I'm gonna shoot it. All right. Uh, you see the same thing. Harmony sees. There's the little smoke creature flying around. Um, wait, hold on. I speak mm, abyssal. That wouldn't be it. Mm, okay. Never mind. I was going to try and speak to them, but they speak something else. Unless... Wait, when I'm speaking to these elementals and all that, I'm speaking in, like, um, what was it? I'm speaking in, uh, oh, what's that language that my character knows? Infernal. As I'm like talking to them and walking by and like doing the finger guns and whatnot. Harmony, roll insight. Insight? 
God damn, I'm bad at insight. Fifteen. So, you notice when you speak to them, they don't really seem to pay attention to you. So they're probably allowing you to pass maybe because of who you are rather than what you're saying. Yeah, but she's still sneaking in for her and all just because of who she is. Okay. <laughs> They're all friends to her. Like, hey! <laughs> You're looking good. Did you lose some weight? Are you more fog cloud this time than the last time I saw you? You look great! <laughs> Alright, Jovian. You're still in the first carriage. Yes, so I'm gonna be sitting there and I'm like... I think that it's what I should be doing, but now two of my friends have left and nothing seems to be happening. So at this point, I'm going to take out, I have a uh, flask of holy water and I'm just going to chuck it <laughs> at at the hands. All right. From, from yourself. From my Make an attack roll. All right. 15. Okay. Uh, which hands do you have that? Uh, the left hand. The one that was banished, or the one that wasn't? Uh, which one seems to be more in my way? Um, uh, let's see. Probably the right, uh, hang on, left first, right? Yeah, the left one. The right one yeah, looks pretty so weak. All right, so it's at. I toss it at the left one. All right. Uh, that hits. Uh, right. actually, let me pull up the rules for holy water. I think unless it's unless it's um demonic, it's just water, right? Yeah as a fiend or undead. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's just uh, a let's see. Vigo dealt four points of damage earlier with that banishing spell. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you throw this holy water at the hands and it also seems to shrink just a bit. Uh, the flames seem a bit weaker. Uh, doesn't get banished or anything, but you can sort of tell that uh, these fire hands don't seem to like water. Okay, I'm just gonna very meekly just sit back down in my chair and pretend that I didn't just do that. All right. <laughs> Next is Harmony. Yes. Um, I'm just going to keep continuing walking through the train cars and just being like trying to keep everyone calm. Just being like, don't worry, I've got this under control. Everyone just stay down in your seats. Pretend to be scared every now and then. My friends love that. Just keep, I'll, I'll go on. I'll talk to the conductor and we'll be right on our way. It's okay. And I'm just going to keep going. All right. So you go into the next carriage, which is the yep. dining car. Uh, it's pretty dark in here. Uh, nobody seems to be in here. I, I have perfect vision. Okay. So yeah, I can see through all darkness, including magical darkness. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's yeah, pretty good. Oh, oh. actually, but what? How do you do that? Man, bards, am I right? Yeah, right. Definitely bards. I, you know, bards are always get like they always get like joke like the, oh they're just the joke class who just want to fuck everything. But like, I don't know. All right. Kind of hoping something. So yeah, you. It doesn't seem that dark to you. Uh, but it does seem empty. Until. Yeah. You take a few steps into the carriage, 
and suddenly, right behind you, you there's like this burst Dino of above. light. As Sia, the programmed illusion, manifests and says, Welcome to the Sylph Corp dining car. Our menu features a wide array of delicacies from all over Enria, genetically modified to ensure both perfect taste and nutrition. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, she's probably gonna get a little bit distracted and just listen to her, like, talking. <laughs> Just for a slight little bit. <laughs> right. She gestures at what looks like uh, a buffet counter, uh, yeah. which is pretty dilapidated on, the tech of, on account of the dragon attack. But she gestures at the counter and then vanishes. There's nothing on the counter, nothing over there. Uh, there's a bunch of food uh, scattered about. Looks a bit singed. If you so like. I am, yeah, as I'm walking by, I'm going to like throw a scone off the table or something and just like kind of toss it in the air and catch it and like take a bite and keep walking while I'm eating it. All right. Make a perception check as you take a scone off the counter. I suck at these. <laughs> He's not very perceptive. <laughs> nope, three. <laughs> okay. Yeah, carriage is empty. Right. Uh. All right, Vigo. Uh, that smoke creature in the carriage you're in. Uh, hisses and flies at you. It's so it's wait because I'm hunkered down under the seats, right? Oh, are you? So hiding? when it starts. Yeah, I'm hiding. Oh, I was just trying to like. Okay, make a stealth roll. Okay, because there's something I want to. Seventeen. Well, that's pretty good. What's my stealth? Also, probably pretty good. Plus five, so twenty-two. Never mind. It's just gonna keep flying around and like starting fronting on anyone who like tries to make a move. Uh, door. Mm -hmm. It is your turn. Uh, I will look, grab another glass of water if I see one. Okay. Uh, and with sleight of hand, I will grab it. Oh, go ahead. Oh. Uh, so people have seen you uh, trying to fight off these hands, and they're a bit more willing to like let you take their water. So they just pass it off to you. When you go to this reach. is the guy to give the water to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to throw it at the left hand, I suppose. And... Ugh. Natural... Natural. Oh no, it was just 7. So I got an 11. 11 in total. 11? It looked uh, like a 1 for a second, but it's a 7. <laughs> yeah, 11. Yeah. I... Uh same thing it just sort of splashes in front of you people yes. are reconsidering giving you their water <laughs> my my maker would not be happy with me or would she uh is that your trip i'm gonna like dive back behind the seats okay uh Say, one of the burning hands is gonna move in front of the door. The other one is going to move uh, towards Nor. Uh, which seat do you dive behind in relation to Jovian? Uh, I pictured Jovian being like maybe across the aisle from me, maybe. Okay. Uh, okay. Jovian, as the Burning Hands moves towards Nor, it enters your reach and then attempts to lead it. Okay, I 
Oh, what happened? Hold on. What can I do to react? You get an attack of opportunity, which is if you have like a short sword or a dagger. You can also do absorb elements, but it's not attacking me at all. But is it? It is a spell, technically, right? So, yeah, absorb elements you can use as a reaction when you're hit by a spell. But it's right. not. Okay, so it's not. I wouldn't be able to do anything with that now. No. Um, Let's see, what do I have on me? I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna react at all. I feel like I'm just gonna try and avoid conflict with this thing. All right. So it's going to attack Nor. That's going to work. Does a nine hit? Uh, no, sixteen. All right. So it's gonna swipe at you, but you sort right. of move further down behind the seats and it can't get to you. All right, Vigo. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I'm going to continue up the train or help my friends in the back. But my friends in the back don't seem to be attacking very, very much. So I'm going to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is from my vantage point, like behind the seat, I'm going to lean over and I'm going to, um, because of my feet, I'm, I get to one time a day cast, uh, what's it called? Silence. So I'm going to cast silence and then pull out my rifle and try to, as because it's going to be silent instead of making a big boom, shoot it in the silence and then bunker back down. So it doesn't know where so it you, came from. You basically just equipped a silencer. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I I saw that beat and I'm like, it's a silencer. It's perfect. <laughs> it's great. Uh, there's no save in it, right? Yeah, it just happens. Oh. For what? For silence. It's around me. Okay. Like it's in a circle around me, and it basically means it makes it makes it so no sound happens around me. So that because so that when my gun goes off, it doesn't make like a boom. <laughs> Smart. All right. Yeah. You do that. Uh, and this is with my rifle. I think it's called the bad news. Uh, that's gonna be sixteen to hit. All right. Uh, uh yeah, that is. And that's going to be 24, 24 damage. Uh. That counts as magical damage. Okay. You you shoot the smoke monster and just Oh, I was shooting the burning hands that are attacking my friend. Okay. Which one do you Because I'm leaning oh, the I one know. that's attacking Violet. Okay. I'm I'm not being attacked. Oh the one sorry, sorry, no, the one that's attacking Nor. Alright. So I took my advice and sat in the seat. <laughs> Well, they're yeah. not gonna know. I'm being sneaky. I'm trying to like. Also, <laughs> it's following them to attack them with the seats. I. Uh... Yeah, you kill that hand. The fire just sort of sizzles out, dissipates right in front of Nor as it's trying to like swipe at him. All right, and I hunker back down and. Uh, Jovian, it's your turn. Yeah. There's still one hand. It's not looking great. Okay, at this point, I think I'm going to use uh, Guiding Bolt. Okay. Um, ranged attack spell against the target. Alright, so I just got to attack. Wait, 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 wait. Let me hold on. Yes, I can use it at second level. Okay, so gonna do that. Gonna use Guiding Bolt. All right. Which, 13 to hit. Yep. Excellent. Oh, wait, I guess I'm running hands. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh no, that does oh. not hit. Dang. 
Well, oh. then. <laughs> We're not doing well. <laughs> I'm gonna. We're not doing very well. Uh... I'm gonna, at this point, get up out of my. Like, as my movement, get up out of my seat, and then with my bonus action, I am going to use. Uh, I'm going to prepare Starry Form Archer, which okay. will hopefully come in handy next turn. Oh, no, wait. She doesn't attack. really know y'all. I believe you betrayed us like this. Listen, she barely knew y'all. All she knows is that she skipped with y'all to a train station. Okay. I think I Every can attack with that now. I don't think Harmony needs to be the evil member, but... He genuinely thinks that they're just a welcoming party and that they're just angry you're attacking them. <laughs> She's about to go talk to the person in charge. She's being a Karen to help you. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, Harmony, I'm going to let Nor resolve his turn. Because uh, he's so in the carriage with these uh, burning heads. And it's fine, I'm not near them, so. You may be about to trigger a cutscene, so to speak. Yay! Alright, Nor. The cinematics are great. <laughs> There's still. I. A burning heads. I, I scream hurrah when the one gets killed. And it gives me uh, courage to pull out my hand axe and charge the other hand and take a swing. All right, do it. Ooh, I get a grit point back for right. killing something. <gasps> 14. Uh, with your hurrah? Yeah, that hits. Roll your damage. Hurrah plus one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three points of damage. Okay. Uh, that means DM really wanted these things to be dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, this was built with uh, Kyle and Tall Blonde Woman in mind. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. just slight nerfs on the go. <laughs> Doesn't mm -hmm. help that you were, weren't rolling great. But, uh, yeah. It's dead. Slash through it, Weird. and it sizzles, fizzles out. Is that the end of like this combat? Yes. As soon as I see the other one die, I'm going to shift into exactly harmony. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to try my very best to mimic her and walk through and do exactly what she did. All right. The audacity. <laughs> uh, roll perception. Uh, sorry, performance. Oh, it's like, uh, could I do? Could I do deception? <laughs> okay, five. <laughs> uh, it's nineteen. Okay. Your entire thing is changing into other things, and you have bad performance. I have good performance, but I have better deception. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, as you get up, the uh, smoke creature is going to hiss and fly at you, and then it stops. And it looks a, it looks a bit confused. I uh, picked up these pirate clothes. Uh, somebody had them in the back. Anyway, I'm gonna go talk. Uh, and I just do a Karen monologue and keep walking and say toodaloo. Okay. Uh, surprisingly, <laughs> that works. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you walk to the Point next carriage? The dab is very on brand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, uh, I, yep, I'm saying hello to all the elementals. Um, There's uh, only one. Oh. <laughs> you killed the others. He's anxious, so he's just pretend he's just talking at nothing. Okay. Which also seems on brand, so You you step <laughs> into the dining carriage and again Well before right before right before I leave that carriage I try and look through to the other carriage to look at the other two and I'm just like <laughs> I 
turn around. We're just creating a telephone line of just turning around and just going. <laughs> are we are we out of combat or are we still in it technically? Uh, yeah, you're out of combat. Okay. There's still well, that I'm, uh, flying thing, but it doesn't I'm, notice it. I'm in. Can I see it from where I am? I'm still kind of standing in my seat. Yeah, you see something smoky, like, flying around. So I prepared my uh, archer starry form, which, by the way, for those who do not know, it uh, what happens is a constellation glimmers on my body, and the lines connect to form uh, an archer. And I basically... I shed bright light in this form uh, so I get you get an additional 10 feet of dim light uh, which may or may not matter right now but I also get a an attack um, I can make a ranged spell attack hurling a luminous arrow that targets one creature oh, is, is this creature within 60 feet of me Okay, so I'm going to use it on that. Um, and let me roll to hit. That is a 18. Oh yeah, that hits. Roll that. Okay, and then damage is 1d8 plus 3. 7. 7. It staggers back as this... What is it? Like a arrow of light yeah it's basically a yeah glimmery celestial arrow yeah it staggers it's anime down. magic girl that loves it's looks, like yeah. do you know do you know what the light arrows from wind waker look like when zelda's using them on ganon yeah that, that's pretty much what i i'm picturing so you know when there's like a mosquito flying around your face and you slap it and it starts to like spiral. Mm -hmm. That's what you see this smoke creature doing. It doesn't take the hit well, and it's just flying around in a bit of a daze. Okay, I'm gonna take Looks this. Looks like God nerfed it. I'm gonna take this opportunity to start running through to the next cart, okay. trying to get to the same place I that look, Harmony is. I turn around and I'm like, hello, it's so good to see you. Uh. <laughs> I'm so glad that I betrayed you all. I, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm so glad about that, too. When I see me, I'm totally going to kill you. It'll be so fun. Maybe don't do that. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't. We'll have a conversation. As this okay. is going on, I'm just entering the next cart. <laughs> okay. Okay. Where's our, where's our robot? Is he okay? Is he alive? Do you follow Nor? Yes, definitely. I'm I'm running after uh, uh I'm I'm following Jovian. Okay. Uh DM is going to take a quick bathroom break if anyone else wants to. Now's the time. All right. If not, should we entertain uh our viewers? You should get a music bot in here. I know. I wanted to how do you get a rhythm or whoever is in yours? Uh, you literally just go, you, like, you can Google it and it just, there's a download thing and it just adds it to your account and you decide which server to put it into. It's pretty easy. Just Google rhythm. I need royalty for I'm a, music. You can, oh, your story. That's, That's right. right. I don't, mm, but they, mm, yeah, that's true. Though there's a lot of stuff that's fine. A lot of soundtrack stuff is okay. Generic. I'll be back. All right. Uh, Generic okay. fire music. Welcome yeah, I just... to the two viewers who just joined us. We're taking a yes. quick bathroom break. We'll be back <laughs> in like a minute. Is, One so, of your characters just went to bed. He does that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, he does do that. And you'll understand <laughs> why if you uh, follow the series. 
Why does Arno keep falling asleep? Could it be we linked did... to the plane of shadow and uh, the dreaming dark? Or did I just not burp him? <laughs> You're a bad dad. I'm a bad dad. All right. Okay. Arno's very, me. very close to assuming that anyways. <laughs> I am alone. Hello, people watching. I don't know how many. Someone talked to me. Someone messaged the. Put something in chat for me to respond to. That is correct. Hey, yes. Um. Whoever who is critical cultist. Clam, clam roll. Joshua, is that you? We have six people watching right now. That's lame. So glad that I told so many people that this was happening. Share? I don't listen to share. Um, I don't have it. Oh, here. This is entertaining. Be entertaining. She does not want to be the entertaining. Are you also watching the stream while we're playing? What? I've... We have seven people watching. I'm trying to figure out if all seven are just us. It might be. It might be. It's okay. Can you stop that? This is not what the people are here for. Say hello. DM has returned. I just want to thank everyone in the audience who's watching. First time ever DMing. So hopefully I don't kill all the players. Gotta do some uh, slight improvised nerfs because we lost two party members. Welcome back, Harry. Our favorite poor forged. Harmony. Is I. I am back, children. Tequila. I never left, I just didn't have anything yes. to say, so. Uh, how does it feel to let all your friends die? Mm, she's barely known them. <laughs> Valid. You got me there. She, she barely knows them, and at this rate... If you haven't picked up how she's literally in the beginning, she messaged her patron and was literally just like, can you actually let these ones live? There's a pattern. 
there's there's a pattern of her trying to meet people and make friendships, but her mentor just ends up killing them. So He just saw it as, listen, y'all stay calm. Y'all stay in your seats and behave. These guys are friends. I'll go talk to the manager and, like, get this all sorted out. It's a giant misunderstanding. Like, my mentor would never kill my friends. Don't worry, you can have confidence in me. <laughs> she was trying to be the helpful Karen. <laughs> the caring well, Nor Karen, is not very world-wise. Nor <laughs> is not very world-wise, so he's wondering this mentorship relationship is. He's very curious. Okay. <laughs> Harmony's got her share of secrets. She's good. <laughs> oh, yes. Harmony. Harmony's definitely a part. I mean, she is. <laughs> Joshua's Joshua's having technical issues. He's restarting the computer. He will be right back. Okay. Let's I mean, see. she is a bard. She has a lyre and a flute. <laughs> she is a bard. Uh, she so is a bard. Let's see. Vigo, Nor, and uh, Jovian are together. So, while yeah. we wait for Vigo to come back, uh... Har is Harmony entering the next carriage? The one beyond that yes. random cart. Okay. Yeah, and as she does, she turns around in the doorway and snaps her fingers and does like pew pew and does press the digitation and turns on the lights in the car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's thoughtful. Uh, She's doing like a God <laughs> Almighty, like the Bruce Almighty, just like lights. <laughs> Uh, so do you back to the next cart? No, she just like stops in the doorway, turns around, is like pew pew, and then turns around and goes into the cart. Okay. As you enter the next cart, make a constitution no. saving throw. No. I'm not going to the next cart. With that inspiration, can I choose to use it before or after? Or both? Uh, you can... What did you roll? I haven't, I haven't rolled yet, just in case. Uh, yeah, you can choose to use it after you roll. Okay. I am definitely using it. <laughs> okay. And that gives me advantage, right? Uh, it gives you... Gun or no? You can roll a d6 and add the results. Oh, never mind. I'm holding on to that then, because that's right. not worth it. I rolled, I rolled a four. Oof. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Yes. You, you oh, gag yeah. as the stench of melted flesh fills the air, and you are sickened, gaining disadvantage on all ability checks as long as you're in this carriage. And you look around, and you're just surrounded by half the horses. Some still reclined in their chairs, others face down on the floor as if they were trying to escape. And they're half elven? No, half melted. Oh, I thought you said half elven corpses. I did too. Uh, some and of I was like, oh. Elven. I was like, this must have been the security check. <laughs> um, oh, half melted, just been like, mm, my mama makes them better. Um, and I'm just going to keep uh, walking through. Do I notice anything significant in this cart other than, you know, the melted faces of tons of people? Uh, make a perception check. And I've got disadvantage. I am not going to see anything. <laughs> that was a six. Um, you notice this particular carriage is a, or was a bit nicer than the other ones that you passed through. Not the rich. 
<laughs> yep. Other than that, you can see. Listen, in the fire plane, eating the rich is a delicacy. Just it seems like they burnt these ones. So I'm just going to keep walking through. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thor, Vigo, and Chovian are Ooh, in. Ask this woman for aid. <laughs> I'm moonwalking through a bunch of dead bodies in the next cart. It's fine. I don't think they should want her help. <laughs> Listen, I turned on the lights in the previous car. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Did, did I, you guys do anything while I was restoring my computer? No. No, we just talked to chat. Uh, we did a quick harmony scene. So now you three are in the dining car. The lights are on. Uh, the programmed illusion pops up, does her little welcome, tells you how everything's genetically modified and that she cares about your feelings and well um, being. I look for a scone. Do they have scones? Uh, yeah. There are a few singed ones on they the uh, counter. Cream. They have buttercream. Make an investigation check. They took the last one. Fourteen. Fourteen? Uh, yeah. You find a butter scum. Uh, in the process, you're sort of like looking around the counter. You bend over, and you see a small figure huddled against the counter, shivering. Well, there's nothing in this cart. We should keep going. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, do you need help, tiny person? Uh, I'm sorry, wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Do you need help, tiny person? <laughs> she, uh, she turns, and you can see that she is a uh, halfly woman wearing a black apron with, uh, like a little patch that has the image of a flame with a hammer across it. Probably an <laughs> iron forge worker. Patch? Oh. Uh, I do not sound like this. <laughs> uh, no, you sound exactly like Athos' daughter. So I, I don't know what our harmony sounds like. What is she? Does she just sound like this? <laughs> like that? Gag me with a she's sim. Very, as if. She's she's very <laughs> ignorant valley girl, but can oh. flip on a dime when it comes to something she's good at. <laughs> what is what what is this pin? Wow, do you work for um? Iron Forge? Who are you? That's you're, a really good with... question. We don't have... No. The Melty people? No. What Melty people? The people... The, the, the burning... The, the people that are on fire. The, the, the fire people. No. Yeah. I haven't entered that car yet. <laughs> no, no, no. Not the melted people. The people that are made of fire. <laughs> the Melty people? Did you know who that... That shadow was? I look at the other two. What shadow? I do, I do not know who that was. He did not seem very friendly. There was... I don't know, a shadow that passed through this cart. He, he summoned some sort of... It's like he poured tar out of his arm. That doesn't sound good. Looking not around the that. cart with the lights on, you do not see any tar on the ground. Are you delusional? Have you have you suffered trauma? I check her head. I'm just kind of looking at it. But... Uh, Are you make all a medicine right? check. Oh god. Yeah, I rolled a 13, but how good can my medicine be? Uh ba -ba -ba. medicine is plus zero, so thirteen. Okay. Uh is, is she bleeding? <laughs> no. As far as you can tell, she's alright. I don't know. I don't see any tar. I I don't know, I don't see any tar. She's probably just lying. 
The people of the Fire Plane would never throw tar at people, unless it was for, like, a party. The Fire Plane? Uh... So that's where we are. Oh, sorry. My home. I don't know what the Fire Plane is. You? You're, you're from... Are you a demon? Yes. And if you ever see anybody that looks like me again, you should immediately throw them outside of the tree. She, she, she looks at her uh, very weak halfling arms and she's like, okay, okay. Are, 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 are you gonna... Are you gonna stop her? Who? You guys know who's she is? The, 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 I'm she the that, shadow, you mean? Well, yes, and that... It's a strangely shadow? happy demon that Wait. skips through here. Wait, is that the shadow that you were talking about? No. The shadow and the demon, two separate people? Two, yeah. two separate people, yeah. I think so. Oh, cool. oh. The shadow the demon was here looked first. Like, looked, like, looked like me, yes. Yeah, the one you said to throw out of the oh. train. Yeah, good idea. Um, Which way was the shadow going? I didn't see. He... To the front? I think so. He's. He came from where you came. Okay. And then he just sort of so, disappeared. Very strange that the dragon that was attacking the train mentioned a shadow person, and now this small, meek, shivering person <laughs> is mentioning a shadow person. You speak dragon. I guess, actually. Where would you learn? To, how did you learn to speak dragon? Why don't you know dragon? I don't know any dragons! <laughs> well, that's your fault, not mine. You know, yeah, I guess that must be right. I look at her and I go, listen, don't actually throw the girl that looks like me at us. I'm sure she's just a um, stupid duck me. Um, but um, can you describe the shadow to us? She already said it was a shadowy figure. What do you okay. want her to say? Six arms, two arms. Amorphous blob, maybe. Uh, Help me here. I look. I look. I look at Nora, and I'm like, I need your your. your I need your direct mentality here. Can we, little young young lady, who are you? Where are you? Where are you from? Why are you on this train? Uh, my name's Adira. I'm a chef for the, the, the this train. I was supposed to be king. Wonderful scones. Oh, please, uh, uh, help yourself. It's complimentary, and I, I, I'm supposed to tell you to thank the silk court. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. important right now. Mm -hmm. Harmony, or whoever you are, it sounds to me like the shadow disappeared. Is that what you said, Adira? Yeah, it's one moment it was there, it released whatever sort of ooze that was, then it stepped back into the shadows. And is the ooze here now? She, she nervously peers above the counter. Uh, you'll notice there's a little stepping ladder, because she's a halfway. And she looks around, and she says, no. Uh, okay. You guys can roll nature or arcana to see if you can pick up on what she might have seen. Can I have my arm, please? Thank you. Uh, 14. I got 18 nature. I got 16 arcana. Okay. Uh, what did you roll, Vigo? Or which skill? Nate. Uh, Archon. Okay. Or na nature would make more sense. Yeah. So. Let's see. Violet, you think about different types of magic. You'd know that 
just as there's a plane of shadow, there's a plane or a plane of fire, there's a plane of water, a plane of earth, and a plane of shadow. So it's possible she might have seen some sort of shadow demon. Uh, Nor and Vigo, you think about what that slime she saw could have been. Uh, Vigo, you pick up. She mentions ooze. And you know, in some places of the world, there are, like, living oozes that, uh, like to smother adventurers, gelatinous cubes and whatnot. Nor you are a bit more connected to nature. Uh, you might have heard about something that is particularly low both amongst the uh, dwarven miners and artificers of Goromor's chain and the nature-loving elves of Maltor and a uh, black pudding is yeah. what they affectionately call it call it uh oh. in reality <laughs> a terrible living ooze that melts it's, whatever it touches it's literally the worst <laughs> and the dm thought, not like oozes the dm thought when is he ever going to use an ooze and this was the time. It's obviously, when we're trapped on a train with it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So we... There are multiple planes of existence. Yeah, the you're... Higher you, plane. You're getting it, Joey. Yes. But there's also a shadow plane. Mm. Anyway, I, I should go see my family up at the front. Um, look out for oozes. Okay. Um, um, please, I I can't offer much, but she grabs some uh, little packages of uh, berries uh, with uh, a sort of a Keebler elf looking guy. And she says... Uh, th these are, uh, official Silvcord branded, uh, good berries. Oh. I I'm supposed to say the Silvcord part. They're genetically modified. You know? Uh, yeah. Sia we, uh, appears up. I put okay. one on, I put one on my scone and eat it. Yeah. Uh, you gain one hit point. <laughs> he appears next to Adira and starts monologuing about the origins of Silvcorp goodberries. I'm gonna move on to the next car while she's Meanwhile, while that. she's monologuing, I'm practicing how to moonwalk back, and I'm not pleased with myself until I successfully moonwalk my way out of this cart into the next one. Okay. <laughs> so, not the uh, dining cart, but to the front of the train. I'm like, like trying to moonwalk out and I'm like, oh, it'd be so cool to just be able to moonwalk through all these bodies out of here. And then like, I'm not doing it correctly. So I'm walking back up and I'm do it, trying to do it again. And then on the third try, I successfully do it. And I do it all the way back to the cart. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> and then right. turn around to go into the next cart. All right. As you enter the next cart, make an athletics or an acrobatics check. Okay. Probably when we're entering that cart, right? Y'all are literally yeah. one cart behind me this entire time. Well, <laughs> so I like how y'all are y'all are getting there, a story. She's in there moonwalking. We have some time to catch up. No, y'all are getting a whole story about an ooze while I'm moonwalking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what did he get? I'm going to use that uh, inspiration at this point. Okay. He says D6. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> um, that's going to be uh, 12. 
All right. And is that for athletics or acrobatics? Oh, what was that? Acrobatics. Okay. As you enter the next cart, uh, you can tell you're probably uh, reaching the engine room in the front of the train. Because you see you're in a corridor with a bunch of valves and glowing buttons and roots. Um, you take a few steps in and suddenly something steps out of the shadows and moves to pin you against the wall. You just barely dodge it, but it turns oh. around, lifts up a fist, and a metal blade slides out, and it points it at you. Uh, it's hard to tell quite what it is, because it's all shadowy. Seems kind of like an elf. Um, I, I, I put my hands up, and I'm just like, um, um, I, bl I, I believe you know my mentor? Yeah, yeah, you know the big thing up there? With, with, with the nod, sword hands, he holds a finger to his lips. What are you doing? I mean, I kind of have some friends on here, and this is kind of a huge misunderstanding. I don't know if this is part of his plan or whatever to get Andrea or whatever the place is called, but like... I kind of just got there, and I was still learning some things, and I don't really understand what's going on here right now. All I know is that he told me that he wants it back. The shadow lowers his arm blade. Who are you? Hi. Yes. At this okay. moment, <laughs> looking exactly like her. <laughs> Oh, what was her name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm Pesadivia. You know, Harmony. You can call me Harmony. That, that's my name that I chose. For, isn't it charming? Um, anyways, yeah. Um, you know, the, the big man up there, Nepos? Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of my patron, you know? He's kind of teaching me some things. I kind of dabble a little bit. Uh, anyways, I thought I'd come up here to file a complaint because everything's kind of on fire back there and you're about to kind of kill my new friends I was kind of getting to know. <laughs> you you know the gnome? You know... Oh, the gnome in the back of the car? You mean, you mean that, you mean that shh, guy's son? Shh, shh. I, d I don't know of any gnomes in the front of the car. I just got to the front. I'm not here to kill the people in the back of the train. Well, what are we here for? Like, Maybe. you should probably tell me, or I'm gonna have to, like, contact the man that's the next level above you, you know, my mentor, Nepos. I'm kind of cool with him. I might have to message him directly. What? Make a persuasion check. <laughs> 23. 23? Yeah. The shadow elf sort of peers into the next cart, into the next cart with all the melted bodies, then towards the front of the train. And he says, Listen. We gotta tie up some loose ends and then make a delivery to the Eternal Valley. We're, you know, where they the Del forward to you. What are, we what are we delivering? Is it the gnome? No, the, the gnome is the loose end. Going to melt him. Okay. I mean, do what you gotta do, but, like, I got some friends back there. Can we, like, 
cooled down the monsters back there, trying to kill them and everything. I got them sitting down in their seats with seatbelts and everything. I just, it would be nice if you could cool down the flames back there. I'm cool with fire and everything, but like, they kind of can't handle the heat in the kitchen, if you know what I mean. Turn around, go back to your seats, and I'll take care of things from Please, can this be the moment home. that we burst through? Uh, yeah. And so, <laughs> meanwhile, uh, Jovian and Vigo make constitution saving throws as you enter first class. Oh, not for the robot? Is this, is this well, fair? <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's the thing about, uh, Nor. He doesn't need to breathe. So oh, <laughs> I got a nat one. Oof. Oh, uh, what did you go two, get? But sixteen. Sixteen. Vigo, you're like, ugh, you're fine. You're you're pretty mm. familiar with uh, the smell of death. I I hold back uh, Jovian's hair as he poops a little. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, there. Mm, yeah, there, there. Jovian. You're not ha- you're not having it at all. If this is just the most revolting thing you've ever experienced. Oh my god, are you sick from just some dead bodies? Look, uh, Nora's fine. You're okay. You're okay, darn. You're okay. Okay. Smell. We're walking. We're moving. We're puking. We're moving. Oh, all right. I don't like that. Such a tragedy. Uh. Yeah. Nor. Uh, based yes. on the fact that most of the people in here are melted, you can probably put together that the is responsible, and that it must have moved through this carriage. Yes, yes. This is the result. Is anybody of here? This is this is from the ooze that that the halfling. In the, in the food cart is talking. It appears so. The way these unfortunate souls are melted. That's really sad. Uh, everyone make a perception check. I'm trying my very best to stay oh, nat 20. Uh, my very best to stay in harmony character. <laughs> is, uh, is Jovian in the right state right now to be perceptive? Got uh, nose. Yeah, you would have disadvantage on the roll, but you can attempt it. Okay. Got an eight. Okay. Eighteen. With disadvantage? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh what did Vigo get? Not twenty. Oh that's right. So Vigo and Jovian, you notice that although all these people are melted, anything that seems like Magitek is in perfect condition. Oh, I'm just grabbing it. Yeah. How um, interesting. Well, no, I'm not just grabbing it, because mm-hmm. Vigo has a moral conscience. I think um, well, is there anything that, I, that looks like it would be immediately useful in our predicament, or I would want? Uh, make an investigation roll. And anyone can do this. 17. Okay. Uh, roll a percentile dice. Or die, I should say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 87. 87. You find a particularly ornate and well-made dagger that one of the passengers seems to have pulled out before dying. I, uh, pull one of my hankies out of my pocket and wipe off the blood. Go, not for me, but, uh, perhaps somebody would want it. Uh, and I put it in my, in my pocket. Uh, did um, anyone else? Dagger available. Yeah. And that functions as a plus one dagger. I rolled an 11. 11? 
Yeah, okay. Roll a uh, yep. percentile. Uh, 26. 26. Uh, you find a little case with a pair of stones with uh, strange arcane Ooh. runes on each of them. Matching runes. Uh, Are these stones of far speech? What was that? Mm -hmm. Are these stones of far speech? Not quite. Actually, maybe. Uh, roll Arcana. Anyone who sees these stones. Okay, I will show them to everyone. Okay. I got an F1. So. <laughs> but they're uh, definitely the 10. 15. 15. Uh, Jovian, you recognize these instantly. These are sending stones. Whoa, those are sending stones. Close enough. Same oh, same. actually, sorry. Uh, it would be more like, oh, those are sending stones. Oh. So, interesting. They're a bit like ye old cell phones. Walkie talkies. Walkie talkies, yeah. You, you don't get the apps. Yeah. I forget, uh, phones have changed a bit over the years. Yeah, they're not quite, they're not even phones anymore. Yeah. <laughs> they're probably uh, DMs, DMs had two Dr. Peppers, oh. we're getting our magic items. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was Violet or uh, Jovian looting the bodies? I, I got I mean, seven. Uh, seven? Yeah. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. You, you find some charred flesh. Yeah, I've definitely noticed that. Yep. I uh, I hand the dagger to um to Nor, and I go, would this um be something that you would want? I'm, I'm surprised and quite honored. Thank you. I, I, it's fine. You seem like you're very good at. Are you? I, I assume you're much better at throwing this than you are water. So, yes, that's correct. I am trained in throwing martial weapons, not water, mm. unfortunately. But it's fine. I mean, if you were trained in throwing water, I'd be like, wow, that's. Like really fucking straight. So. <laughs> and what sort of compensation would you like for this said uh, dagger? Nothing. You're fine. You're fine. Um, is, uh... okay. All right, Nori. Hmm. You now have a plus one dagger. Beast. So you add that plus one to both the attack roll and the damage roll. It would be oh, really funny if, if Vigo was like 10 gold. <laughs> 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 Not gonna lie, it was a very harmony thing of you to say. I hope you're better at throwing this than water. Well, that's the thing is that Vigo <laughs> actually has no personality of his own. He takes on the personality of the form he's in, so now he's very harmony. Oh no! This and not the pirate. Imagine if we hung out together. Oh my god, she's gonna that, get really excited. That's why when when they're in the room together, it's gonna be a shit show. <laughs> Do you move to the next uh, carriage? Yeah. yeah, Jovian's booking it there because sure. he can't take the smell. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Before they go into the next cart, can I message my patron? Uh, go ahead. I'm going to message him and just be like, Hey, Nepos. Um, so I just met the Shadow Blade guy and I was wondering, is this part of your plan or is like, do I need to stop him? Um, cause like, he's really mellowing the mood here and it's not very plur anymore. And he just, it, it would be really helpful if you could kind of help me out. Did you just, in the year of our Lord, 2021, <laughs> say the phrase plur? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You know exactly what kind of girl Harmony is now. You've got candy kid bracelets. <laughs> she would not say no. <laughs> oh. Uh, so Harmony, you get no response from Nephos. In fact, you reach out, and it's like you don't even get a signal. Wow, I can't believe he bitch-buttoned you. 
Bombas. He was like, it... going to raves isn't a personality. <laughs> <laughs> so, now the parties collide. So the Shadow Blade says to Harmony, Go back to your seat. I'll take it from here. Just then, Jovian bur <laughs> bursts through the door, gasping for yeah. air. A second Harmony shows up. In pirate gear. In pirate gear. And <laughs> Nor with his dagger. <laughs> <laughs> so the Shadow Blade looks at fake Harmony Vigo, then at normal Harmony, then at Jovian, and he just sort of freezes. Jovian. Oh my god! It's so good to see you again! I'm gonna look back and just be like, oh my god, we can totally talk shop, but I thought I told y'all you, you had to sit in your seats. I told you to sit in your seats. Listen, no, you did not tell me to sit in my seats, and then I start speaking in Infernal, and all you hear is like, slash, 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 like going off at you in like Infernal, and just like waving a lot of finger. Well, Listen, we could all speak, we could all speak barbecue, but we don't have to. It's not that cool. Uh, Joey, <laughs> make a perception check. Perception coming right up. Ooh, okay, twenty-one. So, as the Elven Shadow Blade locks eyes with you, his face starts to shift into your face. Oh, no. Okay, there's there's a lot of this happening here. But before he does, you can make out some familiar features. In fact, your face isn't too different from his. Interesting. As you get the sense that you've seen okay. him once before, long ago. Do I, do I know you? seem familiar to me. So, the second Jovian shifts again. This time to a very pale elf with silver eyes and white hair. And he takes a step back into the shadows and is gone. Wait, wait, wait. He wait, can't wait, just wait. wait. Oh. He can't just leave. Do we get like a reaction or something? Uh, he just leaves. He just fucking dips. I was I was about to use my beguiling bullet on him. Yeah, you you can take a reaction. Each of you gets oh, one because he's stepping back. Have so leaving your reach. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna react at all. I'm just confused. Reaction is going to be me literally turning my head as as he's firing the shot in dismay, just being like, "You should have gone back to your seats." <laughs> Meanwhile, I am I'm just like Harmony in pirate gear, like pulling out a pistol and like. <laughs> can can my reaction actually be to like try and knock? the gun away from trying and aim at the gun this person away from it's before gonna try it here's the thing metagame in here if this from... bullet hits it's gonna charm him and the person closest to him will have charmed him and that's gonna be violet right now i think i am Jovian, or i can not violet. Or, sorry Jovian. I'm, i can choose I'm the closest to him well i can choose i can choose people who are next to him and i would be like i want him to be charmed by Jovian right now it's a charming bullet, which is a thing that I don't understand how it works, but... Shoot you in the face and you're gonna love me. It's just okay. like Cupid's arrow. You're in char your enchantment magic 
causes this bullet to temporarily beguile its target. The creature hit by the bullet takes an extra 2d6 psychic damage and choose one of your allies within 30 feet of the target. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or it is charmed by the chosen ally until the start of your next turn. So we will get six seconds of answers and then he'll leave. <laughs> er. uh, okay, but would Jovian know that that's what you're attempting to shoot at this person? No, that's why. Okay, so I'm still going to attempt to knock the gun away before it shoots. Nah, if you do that, I'm just gonna not shoot. I'll just put it down. Would I DM your call? Um, you wouldn't necessarily know that Jovian would try to knock it out. Yeah, go. So we'll resolve the action simultaneously. Uh, roll initiative. Just the two of you. Unless Harmony or Nora wants to take a reaction. No, I'm, um, I'm shocked. I'm again just like moving in slow motion as it happens. Everything's just slowing down, and I'm just like, "You should have gone back to your seat." What you <laughs> so what you see is though I'm, I spin the barrel, and it lands on a purple one that's almost ethereal, like an ethereal purple bullet, and it doesn't look like it's actually like metal, and it's like kind of a spell that shapes like a bullet. <laughs> And then okay. I... 16. 7. Okay. Violet, you move to knock that gun out of Vigo's hands. Jovian. Oh, so Jovian. <laughs> Jovian. Oh, but I got that I got that John Wayne fucking... <laughs> yep. You're doing it as harmony. Yeah, as harmony. <laughs> and I've... I'll, I'm, when I do it, I'm going to try my very best to mimic the barbecue speech that she did. I'm going to... <laughs> Alright. Vigo, make your attack roll. Speech. Uh, okay. Alright, hold on. I'm doing this with uh, Pepper. Something like that. Yours and my character should never be together alone in a room. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not lying. I just roll a natural 20. Okay, roll your damage. <laughs> I'm not lying. Okay, I don't want to do double damage, though. I'm not trying to do lethal. Uh, I... I just want to do... Unless I'm unluckily hitting him in the eyeball. Fine. Uh, let's see. It's 3 plus 3, so 6. So it would be 12 damage plus... The Beguiling Arrow is an extra 2d6. So it's 6 plus, or 12 plus 8, so that's 20 damage. Uh, 8 of it is Psychic. Um, do I double the Psychic or no? Yes. Okay, so then it would be six, 16 plus 12. Whatever that is. Um, that's 28. 28. Uh, 28, 28 damage. <laughs> 28 damage, and he is going to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oof. <laughs> okay. He rolled a six. So he's charmed. If we're doing initiative, it'd be until hit the end of his next turn. Okay. Uh... But you can decide how long that is, or whatever, okay. if we're not in combat. Violet, make an athletics roll to knock the gun out of Vigo's hands. All right. But it, it doesn't hit, like, uh, the bullet doesn't, like, it's not a bullet, it just kind of, like, magic purple energy watches over him. Nat one. Okay. <laughs> Vigo's too quick. Uh... Yeah. So the shadow blade steps back and he's partly enveloped in shadows and then the bullet just hits him. And his eyes sort of glaze over. He doesn't Tell my friend, friend everything. So the shadow shakes just a bit trying to resist. 
and then it turns back to Jovian, and his face shifts back to the elven form. Funnily enough, Vigo, yeah. you recognize this elf. For what? throughout your investigations, trying to uncover the secrets of your pasts, you were given files looted from the wreckage of the Palace of Galenia. Is this is this the is this assassin guy? Of an elven assassin. And okay. terrorist. Yeah. However, Violet recognizes him as Jovian. someone else. Jovian. As Jovian. Yes, Jovian. <laughs> you day. recognize this very scarred elf as your uncle Sai. <gasps> Once a traveling merchant who disappeared long ago when you were very young. The second I the second I see his face, I walk towards him and as I'm walking I shift my form into my true form. Which is like pale, pale gray skin and violet domed eyes and hair. And I go and I grab his face and I go, Who are you? That's my uh, uncle. Who is your uncle and who are you? I don't I lost my uncle my entire family disappeared when I was like fifteen. And I'm just like looking into his like glossed over eyes and like tell me who you are and why do I know? Who am I? I just interject but here he's not and just by me. Can I just interject here and just be like, he just needs the gnome and he'll be done and we can go home. I like shoot daggers with my eyes at Harmony. <laughs> Listen, yeah, I know that that was fun before when you looked like me, but now this, the mood is totally killed. <laughs> he knows me. Can I, can I kind of, can I try and push uh, Vigo off of my uncle? Okay. Also, uh, when Vigo says he knows me, uh, Uncle Sai gives him like puzzles look, as if he has like absolutely no recognition. I uh, I pull out of my 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 bag the one the bird's ID that I have, and I put it in his face. He's charmed, but not by me, so it doesn't make like I, I can't make him talk. And I'm just showing him, and I'm like, have me. Who is Vigo? Uh, Violet, you were pushing Vigo out of the way. Jovian. Jovian, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Let me yeah, write I'm that gonna try. Hands. I'm gonna try and push Vigo off of my uncle, who I haven't seen in like 10 years, but... Uh, okay. What kind of check do I make for that? It's an opposing uh, ad athletics, probably. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Minus negative one. So here we go. Yeah. I got 15. a three. I got a three. <laughs> so Vigo, you hold up your ID, and Sai shifts back to that pale, silver-haired form, and he says, "You were lost." I was. And then Violet, uh, Jovian just shoves you out of the way. As I'm falling to the ground, I just bounce back and turn back into harmony. <laughs> uh, with Jovian in I'm front just going to think that's fun, and I'm just going to like... <laughs> with Jovian in front of him, Psy turns back into an elf. And he says... I hope to see each other again. How are you? You cannot be my uncle. Everyone disappeared. How are you here? 
searching for gnome while they're talking. Because I'm curious the about ears, am I right? Uh, yeah, Harmony, you can go ahead further into the cart. There's kind of like a, a wall, and you hear the roar of fire, which is probably the engine. Oh, fun. Uh, gonna, oh. What was that? I'm going to kind of position myself between Jovian and Vigo, just okay. I'm sapping, just kind of put myself between the two. So Jovian, Sai looks at you and he says, your uncle is dead. And all oh. that is left now is shit. Like in, the way that, like in the way that Anakin's dead, is that what we're talking about? Uh, roll insight. <laughs> also, can I tell, is he a ship, is he a, is he a changeling? Yeah. Okay, I just I I know a changeling when I see it. So let me hold on. Inside, uh, sixteen plus two, so eighteen. Uh, is anyone else rolling inside? Uh, I guess I will. I'm searching okay. for a goddamn gnome. <laughs> I got a twenty, not natural, dirty twenty. A twenty, dirty. Oh. So. Okay. So. All of you pick up that he's being dramatic. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and as he says, um, all that remains is shadow. The six sec that was a bit more than six seconds, but Well, it's it would be uh, until his next turn, which would be six seconds each, so it'd be like a minute. Yeah. Yeah. He takes a step back into the shadows, and he's gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to Vigo, and I'm gonna be like, "Sorry for pushing you. That person looked like my uncle, who has been gone since I was 15." If that I had person... a gnome, <laughs> yeah. that person is a terrorist and knows something about me, which is the only reason why I care. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Okay, Please, so fight, we friend. both had both clearly had emotional reasons to react the way we did. I hold no grudges for you trying to shoot what I thought was my uncle in the face. Um... And I just kind of shoved you a little, so, I mean. I, I say in my true voice, I go, he knows who is Vigo. It, while looking like Harmony, I say, he knows who is Vigo. Vigo okay, does not well, know he, who is Vigo. He knows, he knows what happened to my uncle and my entire family, I'm assuming. That's fun. Okay, we should go find the other friend. Um, so, Harmony... You know, I'm going around in the background, flipping things and looking through things, just being like, goddamn gnome, messing up things, looking for this gnome, everybody's yelling at me, it's just, where's this gnome? <laughs> so you notice, in this carriage, again, the windows are like blocked by those like heavy metal shields. Yeah. But you can see like tiny illusory spirits like what looks like fire elementals different types of demons and they're clawing at thin air uh, based on the way they're like depicted on the windows they're probably attacking the train trying to get in and as you move through it you reach this giant ornate furnace glowing, glowing with a blue flame and in front of it cursing to himself and fiddling with like all the different levers and knobs is a very small man. I'm I'm going to walk up uh, behind him and be like, "Hello, child. Um, so have you seen a gnome around here?" Uh, back. back, simpleton. I am no child. 
he knows big words. Hi, I'm Harmony. What's your name? You don't know who I am. No, but um, there was a guy that was looking for you. He kind of held a blade up to me, but yeah. <laughs> I have many enemies. For you are face to face with the greatest criminal mastermind in all of Enrian history. Yeah, that's nice. Um, why was he after you? My divine plan thinks he can stop it. You're a junior. That's, that's, that's nice. Um, see, you can't be the greatest because, you know, my mentor is the greatest. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, can you get to the point? <laughs> Who are you? I, I told you, I'm Harmony. And I'm going to pick him up under his arms and lift him up and just be like, no. so, is Put there, like, a reason why he came to kill you? Who's here to kill me? Oh, he's gone. It's fine. Put me down. I gotta train to I'm going to turn him upside down and just start shaking him. Uh, make an <laughs> athletics check. <laughs> He's like, I'm chafing. Stop it. <laughs> That's a ten. Oof. That's a four for him. Yeah, he's helpless. And he's like, put me down. I am a criminal mastermind, inventor extraordinaire. Is this I the have moment been chosen when we... by the Lady of Shadow. <laughs> yeah, you. If you guys hear this, you can choose to walk in. Yeah, because I want to yeah. walk in and help him shake it, help her shake him. <laughs> <laughs> he's being shaken up and down as he's yelling that he's a criminal mastermind chosen by Shadow. <laughs> you guys walk in, and, and I'm like, just like, and I'm just like, mm, that's nice. <laughs> that's so nice. <laughs> and then I, like, it's just too. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna start filming, and I'm gonna say, this is gonna go over so well on Pornhub. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, just kidding. What are you talking about? Two devil just girl kidding. shakes gnome. <laughs> <laughs> you know the, the Pornhub plane. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing a fire watch. where things are always hot. <laughs> Uh, um, so who is college demon, sh <laughs> college <laughs> demon, shake gnome. <laughs> <laughs> the, the gnome growls a bit like an angry chihuahua, and he holds up a pair of brass racer gauntlets, and there are knobs along the sides, and the gauntlets start to glow as he unleashes his power against Harmony and Vigo. Who each take? Why me? Wait, aren't you? Are you shaking him? That's true. I did. I did accomplish that. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you each take five force damage. As you were, um, I'm going to respond with hellish rebuke. Okay, how does that work? So basically. <laughs> Uh, when I take damage from someone, um, <laughs> they have to make a dexterity saving throw, which I assume since I'm holding him, he automatically fails it. Okay, roll damage. Let's see. Well, why am I doing this? Wait, I didn't do this. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> what? Look at. <laughs> I didn't do this. <laughs> Here we go. Weird. So as soon as he bursts with that energy, um, he, he lights on fire immediately and, and takes seven damage, okay, seven fire damage. Here's my thing, Danmerel, Um If he's technically restrained right now, he would have disadvantage, wouldn't he? Yeah. 
he automatically fails because he can't make a dexterity saving throw if he's no, restrained. No, I mean, I mean, of attacking us with his weird gauntlets. Uh, it's uh, magic Ooh. missile, so he doesn't roll to attack. Oh, it's oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah. He he turns to cinders and ashes. You you fry this no. <laughs> Oh, no, no. I, oh. We don't want to kill him. <laughs> He's already incinerated. There's nothing we can would do. He, would he incinerate or would he burn and I can put some... I'm just, like, holding it. his charred boot as there's a pile of ash on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to try and give him a healing potion, but I accidentally give him water. <laughs> <laughs> I can turn that into holy water if you give me half an hour. See, we're making progress here. This guy will live yet. <laughs> Did he leave anything behind in his ashes? <laughs> yeah. You find a pair of goggles, like building goggles, and his uh, gauntlets. I'm going to pick those up and just kind of like whistle to myself as I put those in my backpack. <laughs> and then just kind of like talk out loud and just be like, so wait Mr. wait wait I'm there I'm there too and I would have gone for probably the goggles. I was going for the gauntlets anyways. Yeah, I want those done. But I'll uh, I am I'm, I'm gonna be like I'm gonna see what they are and then I might I'll probably offer them up to the group. Alright. I'm just gonna whistle to... while rocking back and forth and just be like, so Mr. Shadow Man, um the gnome won't be a problem. <laughs> All right. Okay, did y'all so, just shake this man to death? Like, <laughs> well, also, did he's a child, and we may have shaken the baby. <laughs> also, you guys discovered that I wasn't actually Aloise Blackstone. I think <laughs> there's a lot to unpack here, but like, we need therapy. I feel, now. I feel like this can be unpacked when we figure out how to get home. Yeah, I think we need to get the train moving, and I feel like this pile of ash is not something we should worry about just yet. I mean, he completed his mission, so we should be heading back home. That's what he I mean, said. We're definitely not liable on a court of law, right? For, like, he, There's no evidence. There's only yeah. ash. He just turned a fire in front of us. It was weird. Like, everybody else turned a fire. So um, anyways, uh, now we need to figure out how to get back home. Um, are those fire elementals still digging at the side of the train? Yes. The the train, okay. you can tell, is not moving. In fact, it's starting to wobble just a bit. How far are we from the conductor at this point? Uh, I feel like that gnome was the conductor. That's what did I thought. Was. Conductor, or did the no? Did the gnome kill the engine conductor? cart? Is the next the next car in front of us? Right. No, this is the engine cart. You're right in front of the furnace. Oops. There's a bunch of controls. We're literally in front of the furnace. And Norris okay. can say, "I'm not sure that was necessary." Doesn't didn't that guy drive this, this train? I'm gonna turn around and just be like, "Look, no child can drive a train." Anyways, that shadow man said that he just needed the gnome to be gone, and then when the gnome was gone, we could go back home. And so, he attacked me, I, re I rebuked in response, and just... I, I'm sorry, I got- I lost my temper, okay. I got kinda angry. It's, it's like a squid with ink, you know, it's okay. I just automatically responded and got a little bit angry and a little bit flustered, and he just burst into flames. Okay, do any of us know how to drive a train? Anyways, on a positive note, the guy said when the gnome was gone, we would go back home. Okay, but we don't have... Oh my god, I turn into him. <laughs> <laughs> Does this help? Into Sai or into um, the gnome? I'm gonna, the gnome. I'm gonna fix your- I'm gonna fix your welding goggles. <laughs> um, do you everyone... have the knowledge... Yeah. ...to drive a train now, though? Absolutely not. Uh, sorry, what was his so... personality like? Oh, absolutely not. Everyone make a perception check. <laughs> okay. But we're gonna drive this train because I'm a criminal mastermind. Fourteen. 
Natural 20. <laughs> she sucks 21. at perception check, so I'm excited. <laughs> did, I, did I do one? What is it? Perception? Yes. Yeah. It's a 19, uh, but I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> let's see. 14 plus 4, 18. All right. So you hear a sort of like slithering sound, a looping noise. And you all look up and directly above Vigo, who now looks like the gnome, ah, stuck shit. to the ceiling, <laughs> is what looks like a pile of tar. Uh, perhaps I made a mistake in hindsight. I'm just going to wave and be like, Hi, friend, are you the one that's going to take us home? Uh, Vigo, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. Uh, at this point, Jovian's going to start, at, like, pressing levers and buttons. All right. Make an arcana check. It's 16. 16? Yeah. And four, uh, 15 for arcana. Okay. Sixteen, you said, or sixteen, Vigo? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you just barely jump out of the way as the ooze drops to the ground. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I fall back and turn back into my natural form, <laughs> and it starts rising up, advancing on Vigo. Jovian. 15 was the DC to start the train. Excellent. I'm just gonna pull a lever. Uh, meanwhile, so, me and a slime are just squaring up. Uh... <laughs> I'm just confused because I think it's a friend. Yeah, I look. I look at Nora. I'm like, help, 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 help. Yeah. <laughs> so the furnace flares up, and you hear a rumbling underneath you as the train begins to move once more. The spectral monsters projected on the windows begin to blend together, then fade away completely as the forerunner races through the empty marches and carries you, hopefully, to safety. <laughs> <laughs> 